I'm no see my computer finally shat out on me which I know I've been saying was gonna happen for a while so I got a new one I've been using the same computer since 2019 I had absolutely no storage on it so when I would edit videos it would just move in slow motion and could not keep up with Final Cut this is the brand new MacBook Pro that they released like a month ago and I got like four terabytes of storage and it's all souped up just for video editing and I feel like it's Christmas I'm so excited to start using this I also had the 16 inch before I got the 14 inch because I feel like this can fit in more of my bags for like traveling and trying to edit on planes and stuff so I'm so excited. If you can't tell, that was long overdue. So it is my last week here in LA before the season starts again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm itching, I'm itching to start traveling again. We leave on Monday for Abu Dhabi and Taylor has been telling me for months that we are going to Dubai for Christmas, which is an entirely different city. Super busy with holiday campaigns. I have some fun events that I'm going to this week and then I'm gonna prep and pack for like a five week trip. Had I known vlogmas was a thing i probably would have at least considered doing it like i've mentioned before on here i never really was a youtube watcher before i started youtube at the end of december last year so at the start of this month i started getting dms like you're doing vlogmas and i'm like what is vlogmas now i've learned that during the month of december youtubers will vlog every single day and post every single day of december i've never watched vlogmas before so i was unaware that that was a thing maybe i'll do it next year this morning i woke up with a insane craving for this drink from one of my favorite coffee shops that's all the way over in koreatown so i'm gonna drive over there i'm probably gonna go to h mart because i can't go to koreatown without going to h mart and then i have a shoot for a holiday campaign that i'm doing afterwards then we're gonna just see where the day takes us i was thinking about this because i was talking about it in my video last week how i really just enjoy making travel vlogs but then i thought about it and i'm like i live in los angeles this is a massive city. There's so much going on. There's so many cool neighborhoods. There's definitely places that I haven't explored. So I think for the rest of the time that I'm home, I'm really going to try to make an effort to feel like a tourist in my own city. Which is why I'm going to Koreatown this morning because that's just one of my favorite areas to explore. It's just so hard for me to be still and just accept that things are as they are like when i was younger i had this problem where every two weeks i would have to rearrange all the furniture in my bedroom because i would get bored with the layout of my bedroom so i'd have to move the bookshelf to a different corner i don't know if there's like a word for that or something but i need constant newness and constant change so when i'm home for extended periods of time i'm like what do i do with myself anyways i can't really vlog while i drive one because that's dangerous and two because my jeep is so fucking loud that you will not be able to hear me so we're gonna go to koreatown This is a hojicha einspanner that I get from Damo here. If you guys live in LA and you have not tried this place and you like matcha or anything like that, you have to go. It's so good. Hojicha is similar to matcha, so it's derived from green tea, but they cook it over charcoal, I think, which is why it's the star color. And then they put this cream top on top of it and it is like so good. Like actually my favorite coffee type drink that I've ever had, ever. And that's saying a lot because I have a lot of coffee as you guys know. This is like my best kept secret here. You can find pretty much any Korean skincare brands, but you also can find regular brands that they sell at Sephora for cheaper here. booked a studio and a photographer to shoot this because one of my least favorite things in the world is trying to take photos of myself so I just figured it's an expense it's an investment I also just feel like it's more fun to just go to a studio and have like a whole concept and a mood board and I feel like photographers are really helpful and kind of guiding me along on what to do or how to get the best shots for the product so we are going to head to Venice for that it's only gonna take an hour but it's important to get out of the way okay, I just got to the studio in Venice it's super cute they have some holiday holiday decor. My friend Caitlin, who I used to work with, I met her in like 2018, I think, is coming to shoot it for me. Daddy and I came to the beach. We're gonna do a little- We were supposed to go on a hike. Picnic. Yeah, we had a 
we had a day planned and now we're just gonna go. I know, but first we were gonna go to Malibu. We're at Santa Monica, that's the pier. Ooh, we could go ride rides after this. Lived in California for like three, over three and a half years now and I think I've come to the beach a total of three times in that Whoop. whole span. Yeah, I should come here in the morning and like walk along the beach and get coffee and stuff. That'd be cute. Maddie is shooting a brand deal. Hungover. She's a little hungover. This is thirty dollars for cheese and grapes. You look ugly when you frown, and I don't want that shit around. Didn't know I never told you. It's all big fake smiles in California. Good morning, Houston. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. We've been on this hike for two minutes. Um, Maddie and I woke up at 6.30 this morning to go on this hike up near Malibu. It's really cute with how supportive we are of each other. Last night I went to Maddie's and we filmed her Instagram reel for Brand Deal and now she's, she got up early as hell to come help me shoot my Instagram reel. I'm shooting a Brand Deal this morning for Uniqlo, which is what I'm wearing. So I had to come and make it look like I'm not in California. Oh, this view is sick. I'm really glad we did this. Yeah, this is so pretty. <laughs> wow. It's so pretty. Nature. Morning sunlight exposure. Mm. So good for us. Wait, that's ocean, right? Am I being stupid? Oh, yeah. That's pretty sick. <laughs> okay, we found the horses. I've never been around deer that were this. Not afraid of people. It's gonna be around there. You're gonna switch the other side while you're switching your grip. Stop. Push. There you go. Get there, get there. All the way back, racket. Yeah. Behind you, racket. Behind you. Stop. Good job. What a backhand. Good staying, right? I'm not. Yes. There you go. Come on. Aim. Nice. Aim. Yes. You see, you bring your shoulder back, you never get close to the ball. Even if you try to. Good. Let's go into the. Good job. Huh? I refuse to play Here we are. Every speckle weather is impeccable when you are near. Harvey! Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, here he comes. Hi, buddy. You are so pretty. Maddie's cooking me dinner. Bitch, I said what I said. Oh, she's a devil. She's a little. She's Why rebel. is your quality bad? On my phone? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What phone do you have? The 13. It looks like ass. <laughs> <laughs> why is it so bad? This is why half the time I don't record things. Yeah, it looks really Like bad. I have something I have to post for a brand tomorrow and it looks like this. What phone do you have? So we're making, well Maddie's making, <laughs> spaghetti squash and turkey meatballs? Yep. Health. Our health grind. We are on our health grind. If you saw my vlogs in New York this summer, <laughs> we were not on our health grind. I'm on my LA bullshit. It's so much easier to be healthy in LA than New York, no, I feel. It is a real thing. It is true. I think it's a mixture of like the weather, being outside, being able to be outside most of the year, the food options here, especially for delivery for healthy food, so much better. There's definitely more workout classes. You walk everywhere in New York. That's the only thing it has going. That is the only thing. But even when I'm walking in New York, like in the winter time, like you're walking to the subway. I was kind of a hermit in the winters in New York. I do remember when I was in college though, sometimes when we would go out, we'd literally like trudge through the snow on the way to the bar in like tank tops. Why did we do that? Why, when we were in college, we refused to wear jackets to the bar. I never wore a jacket. I would always well, go in like a little tank top and mini skirt and it'd be around. like, Duh. yeah, it's true. It would literally be 30 degrees. We would be in little tank tops and mini skirts and we were like 19 years old. You got like parm or something? We do need cheese. We need cheese, but we have this fake cheese? Nutritional yeast. Whoa. It doesn't even compare. I don't know. The fact that they act like this is close to cheese is just sad. I just realized there's a big ass chair right there. <laughs> Why is it so big? A big ass chair and a big ass wine glass. Wow.
weeks ago, my friend Mariana, who founded the skincare brand Summer Fridays, invited me to this gala for this nonprofit called Baby to Baby. And I've mentioned this before, but my mom has worked in nonprofits for 20 years. Before starting social media full time, I also worked in the nonprofit space and was a contributor on newscasts. And I only covered brands that give back. So philanthropy is something that's always been super important to me. I currently give between 10 and 20% of everything that I make to various nonprofits mostly cat rescues. This gala that we went to, I was not prepared for the level of celebrity backing that this nonprofit had. Kim Kardashian was there, Zoe Deschanel, Sophia Ritchie, very strong nonprofit, but they do do amazing work and every season during the holidays they have this program called Family to Family where you can sponsor kids and families who live in housing units and programs here in Los Angeles. So I signed up to sponsor families and today I'm going to go Christmas shopping for presents for them. I also love it because I kind of get the same rush of retail therapy except I'm not just feeding into my own overconsumption desires. leaving for a dinner event for two of my friends who own an app that's based here in LA so they're hosting this little holiday dinner party tonight. These jeans are from Alice and Olivia. They're so fun. I think this sweater is just from Revolve. Hey vlog. Cheers. 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 Taylor is teaching me tennis this morning. Excited to see your improvements. I have improved. I'm, I've been I'm, taking. What I've said it seriously. I wasn't being sarcastic. Yeah, I've been taking like actual lessons from someone who knows how to teach tennis to a beginner. You excited? Uh, I'm like I'm hopeful. That that video you showed me of your backhand like looked a lot better. Yeah, well, I did take the one the one clip where I got the best shot. Insert, insert. Yeah, well, obviously. It's, well, it's, <laughs> It's there, you know, you just have to find it every time. I got my little aloe tennis set on and I put a little red bow in my hair. You because you're going like this, so the ball is just going to go like up like that. You just hit the ball like this, okay? Once you start to feel that, you just like turn to it. I'm spending pretty much the entire day today getting ready for this long trip that we're about to leave for. I mentioned earlier in this video that we're going to Abu Dhabi, so we are staying on this island called Yaz Island, which is where the F1 race that takes place in Abu Dhabi is. From my understanding, I think they keep part of the track up throughout the year, and there's this whole kind of like exhibit that you can go to, and since I decided I'm an F1 fan, I'm gonna try to go. But the island itself is a 40 billion dollar man-made island. I think it was built in like 2009. It has kind of these like adult theme parks. Taylor and I love roller coasters. We're gonna try to do like a morning in the desert. I ordered some abayas and dresses for it, which I'm really excited for because I wanna go visit some mosques while I'm there. It's just an exhibition, so not really an official part of the tennis tour, but definitely will be good to play matches before like United Cup and before Australian Open. So we'll be in Abu Dhabi for like five days, then we fly to Perth for for United Cup. I might do a few days in Sydney. I also might go to the Gold Coast for a few days with some of my girlfriends who live in Melbourne because they're doing a little vacation up there and I have not been to that part of Australia. And then we'll be in Melbourne for Australian Open. Last year, I hosted my first event for followers. I did a completely free Pilates class that I just opened up to any followers who were in Melbourne. I think we had maybe like 50 girls there. We got catering. We are going to be doing that again this year. Melbourne is really where I started my social media career. I made my first 
TikTok when I was in Melbourne at Australian Open two years ago. So I have a really strong community there. I'm planning to do events for the girls at all the Grand Slams this year and maybe some other tournaments like Indian Wells and Miami. So just keep an eye out for those. These events that I want to do, it's really important to me that they're completely free. I'm not going to charge anyone to like come to anything. I want to open them up to all followers. Anyone can come. It's not just for influencers because my community is the most important part of everything that I do and it's so so cool to meet you guys in person. I'll be announcing the date for the Melbourne one in the coming weeks. Last year I think we booked up in like an hour so if you guys want to come just keep an eye. I'll post it on my Instagram story and hopefully as many people can make it as possible. So those are my updates. I am so excited to go back to Australia. I'm counting down the days but I've been counting down the days for like six months. Today I need to pack. I am not bringing that much clothes because every single time that I go to Australia I basically buy an entirely new wardrobe, especially right now. US brands aren't really selling summer clothing. So I'm honestly not really packing anything. I'm just gonna shop when I get there. And then today I'm gonna get my nails done, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really looking forward to. I stopped getting my nails done probably, I think it's been maybe six months. March or April, I stopped going to the nail salon. It is consistently a absolutely miserable experience for me. I have anxiety when I go. My heart rate is like 150. I can't sit still. I have extreme anxiety about nail trauma because about a year ago, I had the tip of my finger clipped off in the nail salon and spurted blood for probably 25 minutes straight and it was one of the worst things that's ever happened and was so painful and it was just like every three weeks i was going in and doing this thing that stressed me out so bad and was just two hours of misery so i was like i'm done so i've been doing press-ons which has been great but since i'm traveling again i just don't want to deal with having to like reapply them or deal with any of that so i'm gonna go get my nails done today i did gel x for like three years straight i'm gonna get gel x again and i have a nail girl in melbourne who is so amazing, so gentle, just does the most beautiful nails. So I know in like three weeks when I get there, I can have her fill them in. I'm also getting a pedicure today, which is probably one of my top five at least favorite things in the world, but my toes kind of look like hot dogs right now. So it needs to be done. Then I'm getting a spray tan tonight, which is like therapy for me. So I am looking forward to that. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I have my personality back. It was still so miserable to get them done. Two and a half hours of just sitting there, but I listened to two episodes of the Mel Robbins podcast, which I'm obsessed with, and she just released an episode on procrastination, which I think was much needed for me to listen to right now. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day slash night packing and getting the apartment ready so especially when we go on these super long trips i have to make sure all the plants are watered and i have these little bulbs that like water them over time so i have to do that make sure all the trash is taken out because if there is even one little bit of food anywhere in the apartment when we get back it will reek and i've made that mistake before one time i did not take out the trash before we went on a month-long trip and it smelled like a dumpster fire in our apartment. Anyways, that's gross. It was really nice to be home the last couple of weeks, see friends, going back to Minnesota for a little bit, but I'm very excited to start traveling again. Next week's vlog will be Abu Dhabi, which I think will be super fun. We have a bunch of fun activities planned. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Monday.